fascinating science experiment courtesy of a 13-year-old girl. The stuff you see here, here it is. It's called Ooblick. It has properties of both a liquid and a solid. It's one of the things Detroit school kids will be making this weekend at the district's first ever Open Doors Day with a science theme. And Litzy Carbajal is here now from Clifford Academy. She is just 13 years old. She is a seventh grader, and she's going to cook up some oobleck for us in just a minute. So, so what is this exactly, Litzy? It's a solid and it's a liquid at the same time. And it's oobleck. It's oobleck. All right, before we make it, let me just um, talk about this weekend. We mentioned this Open Door with Science Projects. What are they going to be doing at Clifford Academy? Oh, uh, well, we're going to be doing some science activities and experiments, uh, elephant toothpaste, uh, moon well, craters. Elephant toothpaste? Uh, <laughs> not really. Okay. I'll uh, part here with that Moon smell. craters, indicators, uh, speed of cars wow. with Hot Wheels. Um, so lots of fun science yeah, stuff to get people interested, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I also know that um, there's many other schools that are in the Detroit district that is doing this, that are doing this on Saturday. Let's talk about some of them. Cody Detroit Institute of Technology is showcasing 3D printers and robots. At Noble Elementary Middle School, families will create terrariums, learn about batteries, bulbs, and electric circuits. And at Burton International Academy, we'll see tabletop hovercrafts. And again, that elephant's toothpaste. Kids will be making their own slime as well. Much more on our website, WXYZ.com. Okay, please make oobleck for us. How does this work? Uh, it's a solid. It's a liquid. It's oobleck. <laughs> Very good. So to make this okay. non-Etonian fluid, you would have to have one cup of cornstarch, okay. half cup of water, okay. and some food coloring. This is your choice. Okay. Okay, now you add the cornstarch to the bowl. I can help with any of this if you need it, okay? Oh, you're going to help. Right. Oh, I am going to help. You hear that? Okay. Now you put some of the water. Okay. Some? Did you, is there, how much did you say you needed about? Uh, half a half cup. Half a cup, okay. Okay. Now you can add three drops of food coloring. And then you said any food, co any color that you yeah. want, right? I'm doing red today because of the red wings, with well, the dress anyways, but we'll do green for Michigan State. Okay. I like that. As you're mixing, you may feel your mixture really dry, but you can add a little bit more water. Okay. Can I kind of play with the Zublek over here? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Almost split. This is really kind of cool stuff. It really is. Yeah. Okay, now it's Sticky. time to play. Okay. You're going to hold, pick up your Ooblek yes. and try to hold it into a ball like this. Hold, okay, you want me to hold this in a ball? Yeah. Okay. Try to make it into a ball. Do you feel it getting into a solid? Okay, yeah. Okay, now let go of the ball. And it turns and liquid again. That is so cool. Let's see, that is wonderful. And there's a scientific property why all this why all this happens, and that's yes. part of what you guys learn. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, the molecules in this mixture, they stretch it up and lock together, which makes it turn into a solid. I see? love it. Okay, in five seconds, can you tell me what elephant's toothpaste really is? It's a fountain of foam. Okay. And you can make it colored, and it just explodes out of a bottle. I love it. There you go. Thank you, Litzy, for everything. Thank More you. on our website. I hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. We'll see you again today on Action News at 5. Have a good one.